Okay, today I'm going to show everyone how to do a simple wireless power transfer experiment. The things that you're going to need is a battery with a some connectors, two alligator clip cables, some magnet wire, and one transistor. Transistor, this is a 2N222A transistor. A lot it comes with a lot of the uh Arduino kits and they're really cheap to buy and then you're just going to need three LEDs that you can solder on to your coils here. Um, so what I have here is I have our transmitter coil. I'm going to show you how to wi wind all of these. Um, and I was able to hook this up to an oscilloscope and find the frequency that it operates. This is a 20 turn coil operated at 14.3 megahertz. So first I did a 10 turn coil and this operates at 4.2 megahertz and that's when you bring it in close here that's the frequency that this is receiving then there's a 20 turn coil this operated at about 1 megahertz and then a 40 turn coil and that was down in the 80 kilohertz and it varied sometimes it went over 100 kilohertz um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually wind a coil Okay, so first thing we're going to do is you need to find a circular object. You want to make your transmitter coil and your receiving coils the same size. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your magnet wire, make sure to leave, I don't know, maybe six to eight inches extra so you have um, some extra wire to work with. So we're going to wrap around once, two, three, four, I'm going to do a 10 turn coil. However many turns that you do, you want to make a center tap halfway through. So I'm just going to make a loop. That's our center tap. And then just continue winding. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, once you have your 10th turn, we're just going to snip it off here. Okay, so we're going to pull this coil off here. So you can see we have our coil. The reason you want extra length here is so that you can wind it around to keep your coil together. And it's fine just to wind this around. It's coated so it's not going to short, short, short circuit or anything. And then I'm going to wind this other one on this side around. Okay, and you can see we have the center tap here. I use that and I wind it around as well. Cool. So there we have our coil. This is the center tap. So all magnet wire is enamel coated. So to be able to make connections, what I do is I get some sandpaper and you're gonna have to sand off the enamel. You can also use scissors and scrape it off on both connections here, right here and here, and then also on your center tap right here, you're going to have to scrape off the enamel right there so you can connect to it. Um, basically, you're going to take your transistor, which I'll show you with mine, right here, and you can see that the flat side is facing us, the round side's on the back, and the two sides of your coil, you're going to go to the um, base and the collector here. Your center tap is going to be your positive to your battery, and then the emitter right here is going to go to the negative of the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the battery connection here. So here's our battery. I'm going to go ahead and put our positive right here and the negative onto the emitter right here. Here's our 10 turn coil and you can see as we get closer there we go, it lights up 
This is just inductive coupling. That's our 10 turn. Here's our 20 turn coil. Right there, and here's our 40 turn coil. Pretty easy. Go try it at home.